See what I said? I said what I said. What's up, you guys? Hey, sous chefs. We are back. We are here, and I am so excited to do this with you guys today. You guys know how we do here on Sous Chef, and if you don't know, you're about to know. First, we take care of the business, and then we get to the fun. If this is your first time here on Sous Chef, I want to say welcome. If you've been here before, I want to say welcome on back. While you're here, if your subscribe button is red, you are doing the wrong thing. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Make it turn gray. Right next to it, there's a little bell, and it's called post notifications. Turn it on so you always know when sous chef is popping up. Like today, it's Tuesday. I normally don't post on Tuesday, but here I am, right? Uh, <laughs> in addition to that, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps us get seen, and it helps grow our family. Everybody wants to grow their family, right? We want to be known out here in these YouTube streets as a sous chef family, all right? Last but not least, don't forget to comment. I'll be asking you lots of questions throughout the video. If you have a certain day that you want me to post um, that's easier for you as a consumer, please let me know down in the comments. Um, I definitely love interacting with you guys. I respond to all the comments. I love all the comments, y'all. So what I'm thinking is that I will post on Monday and Friday. If you guys out there in Susha family are interested in me posting on a different day, please drop it in the comments. Let your girl know because I definitely want to post on days that it's easy for you to watch content. It's easy for you to um, consume all of these recipes and these cool things that are happening here in Sous Chef world. Let's get right into the video. It's Tuesday. You know what Tuesday means. It's Taco Tuesday. But we're going to call it Taco 3 Tuesday. That doesn't look like three. That looks like four. Taco 3 Tuesday, because we have three different tacos that we are sharing with you here today. We have potato tacos, we have beef tacos, and we have creamy chicken tacos. Let's go ahead and get started, you guys, because we got some tacos to make. You know, nothing, just straight tacos on the phone. Okay, for real. <sighs> Never seen each other. Nope. Chit-chat. And then... And when you're saying shit, I don't know why. Hi, Bobby.
what's up what's up that's a uh, ryan black right there okay so our tacos are finally done and i am so excited to eat with you guys i am starving it is like three o'clock in the afternoon and i haven't ate yet so let's go ahead and get into this meal first things first as you know we always give thanks to god thank you god i appreciate the ability you've given me to move with my hands with my feet to create great meals lord god and thank you that you've supplied all of our needs in your name i pray amen number two sous chef ding tong we do it like this kick off your shoes it's a sous chef beat gather around down because it's time to eat we cooked it we cooked it we did that kick off your shoes it's a sous chef beat Gather around, cause it's time to eat. We cooked it, we cooked it. We did that. Let's eat sous chefs. All right, so I have my toppings here on the side, but I just wanna give you guys a little bit of a close up. So we made our very own taco shells. As you can tell, they are very crunchy. This is our potato taco. I'm just gonna add cheese to that. We're literally gonna have a mashed potato taco. I had these tacos one time when I was in Las Vegas and it blew my mind and I've been making them ever since. In addition, we have ground beef tacos and one of my favorites, and I do have a recipe for this on the channel. We have chicken tacos. I'll put the link for the chicken recipe, the chicken taco recipe right here. I am super excited. Thank you guys for walking through my ASMR. One thing that I always say, something that I always try to live by is that whenever you have tacos, you have soda. All right, let's get to our tacos. So right here I have onions. I absolutely love onions. Um, so I always put onions on my beef tacos. So I'm just gonna do that. I also really like cilantro. I get this stuff because sometimes I don't really like chopping it. And sometimes it makes your tacos a little bit more moist. Um, but this is, it's still cilantro, right? Of course, you have to have some cheese. Okay. So those are our beef tacos. They're all dressed up. The chicken tacos, honestly, I leave them just as is because um, as you will see in the video, if you go and watch it, there's a lot of seasoning that goes into it. So I don't really add any type of sauce or anything like that to them um for my potato tacos i'm pretty much going for like a cheesy potato taco so i'm gonna layer that in there so in addition to our three different flavors of tacos i do have three sauces here i do have homemade salsa i have homemade crema and i also have this delicious looking pepper sauce Let's get started. So the way that I kind of dress it after I put the toppings, um, my salsa, I do really like with the chicken or the potato. The crema, I keep with the beef very specifically. Um, I might add some other things on there too. And the pepper sauce, I've actually never tried with my homemade tacos before. So we gonna learn today whether we like it or not. All right, so let's get into the potato because if this gets cold, y'all know how mashed potatoes are. They don't taste good cold. You take a bite of it just as is. See, I got my cheese in there. Mm. Oh. 
Oh. Mm. Mm. So, in this video, I'm going to make my own challenge. Six tacos, three different flavors. And this challenge, I want to call out Flavors by Dame Dash. I'm calling out Rhonda's red sauce. You guys already know. And my girl Ginger Snap. So I challenge each of you guys to eat six full blown tacos with three different flavors in under five minutes. Let's move on to the beef taco. Here is where I pour my crema sauce. It's really drippy, y'all. So, ooh, see what I say? I said what I said. So, I'm going to leave that sauce here. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Y'all hear that crunch? These are homemade crispy toes. Y'all hear that crunch? Homemade crispy shells. Mmm. good y'all mm. mm -mm -mm. chicken taco you guys there should be close-ups here but if you want to see it, mm. Mm. it's so spicy. So spicy. I like it though. It's like that Samyang. Samyang. This is um, two chefs. It has been amazing to sit here and eat with you guys. I've been missing y'all. Let's just show you all the hard work that we put together in this kitchen. Making homemade talk to tacos is definitely a lot of work, um, especially for a Tuesday, right? Like, <laughs> you know, we've, we've seen LeBron James really popularize the idea of having tacos on Tuesday, but LeBron James has an in-house chef, y'all. So I definitely don't make these every Tuesday, but sometimes when I'm really wanting to make something really special for my baby or for my family, or even for my friends, you guys. I had a staff meeting um, here last week and I made them tacos and they were just some completely blown away because it is a labor of love. Um, and they're delicious if you use the right ingredients. You guys know how big I am about about organic, whatever organic, what is organic? You guys know how big I am on using as much organic ingredients as you possibly can in your recipes, taking the time to use fresh ingredients, to, to use majorly fresh ingredients, and it really shows up in the way 
it really shows up in the way that you cook and the flavors that come out of it. So, today we learned how to make three different kinds of tacos. Creamy chicken, mashed potato, and good old ground beef, y'all. I'm about to sit here and finish eating my tacos. And I wanna leave you with this. I wanna leave you with two things today. First, if you made it here to the end of the video, I wanna say thank you so much. Thank you for being a part of the Sous Chef family. It really means so much to me, to me that you guys are here rocking out with me on such a regular basis. Number two, don't forget before you guys leave to give this video a thumbs up, leave me some comments, Tell me what your favorite taco is down in the description box because I'm looking for some new recipes, you guys. I'm looking for some new flavors to put into this delicious crispy taco shell that I make here at home. Number three, make sure you hit that subscribe button and share this video with all of your friends. And last but not least, y'all, today we learned how to have a very successful Taco 30 Tuesday. And guess what I'm expecting from you? Now, you can go make it yourself. Bye guys. Mm.